True or false? You're a waitress at Blue Flame Lounge. True. That is true. Very true. Now, on your celebrity personal trainer, what are you doing working as a waitress at Blue Flame Lounge? I was a waitress before I was a trainer. I was a bartender before I was a trainer. That is a natural hustle that I have and I will not let go for anyone's opinion because I make more money within one week than they may have made the entire month. So I don't give a shit what anyone thinks about my hobbies and my hustles. I'm sorry. Um, I get people, you know, in my, on my comments, on my posts, Oh, I can't believe you're a waitress at Blue Flame. I don't give a shit what you think because at the end of the day, end of the day, dear, Georgia Power don't accept your opinion, nor can my kids eat your opinion. And at the end of the day, I'm a single mom living in a living in Atlanta um, by myself, providing for my kids in a nice condo, and they're living very comfortably. And I don't give a shit. You have four <laughs> children. I do. And I have to take, I'm taking care of them alone with no help from no one. So I don't give a shit what anyone thinks. Blue Flame <laughs> Lounge, if people don't know what that is watching this interview, it's a strip club. It is a very known strip club with some of the baddest females in Atlanta. And I must say myself, I've been to quite a few of them and Blue Flame has the best. Sorry if you don't like it, but that's just my opinion. Now, is this the first time you've waitressed at a strip club? It is not. I waitressed at a strip club in Florida. I've been wait again, I was waitress. I actually, I wasn't a waitress, I was a bartender. Um, in Florida, we don't really have waitresses like they have here. You are either a bartender or you're a bottle girl. I was always a bartender. When I came to Atlanta, they don't have many bartending positions because there's so much money in it, they don't leave. So once you get that position, they stay in there. So I had to come on as a waitress. Was it my first time waitressing? Yes. Do I like it? Hell yeah. Am I gonna stop? Hell no. Now, uh, when it comes to being a waitress or, or a bartender at a strip club, is that a gateway to becoming a stripper? That's what I've heard, but again, I've been doing this since 2013. I ain't got on the pole yet. Have you seen others start as a waitress or bartender and end up hitting the pole? I mean, I have girls, like, there's a few new girls that just started this week, for, for example. Um, the new girl just asked me, she said, hey, do you think you will get on the, the pole? Bitch, no, I'm not. Do you know how my kids are teenagers? You got me fucked up. But you can do what you want to do. Um, I don't judge you at the end of the day. She was like, oh, you know, I thought about, you know, starting here as a waitress and I might start dancing. More power to you, sister. You know, you need some help, some tips. Watch these girls. They show you everything you need to know. Have you I do it? No. Again, I have, I had my first kid at 14. So my kids grew up with me as my, they like my siblings. So their opinions matter to me. Do my kids know I work at the clubs? Hell yeah. They've known their whole lives. I've never heard nothing from them. Um, do they want me to dance on the pole? Hell no. They are, they, they are very open about that. Even though we may not, we, we say it jokingly, I never came to them and say, hey, I'm going to go get on a pole. They're like, hey, mom, I seen your post. What are you doing? I said, we are in boots. They're flat, and I have on a pouch, okay? So you know the difference between me and the other girls. Very distinct. Working at the strip club, either or club you've been at before, were you ever asked or pressured to touch the pole? Never. Never. It's, it's, I don't feel like there's pressure. I mean, of course, you, there's that opportunity. There's that, that window if you want to go through that way. But there's no pressure. No one can make you. They're not going to force your hand to do anything. You know that that's the uh, option if you want to take that route. Ever got close to touching the pole? I mean, I have my own pole in my own house. That's we're far. talking. We're, we're talking <laughs> That's the closest I've ever got to. It. Okay, well, we're yeah. talking about in the real strip club that you're just, bartending just, or waitress. At, that even in your darkest times, if money even got very, very scarce and it had to come to that point, was there ever a thought, I may have to go beyond this waitress and bartending gig? No, because I'm a natural born hustler. I know how to get money seven ways. So, no. Just curious. Nope. But you have waitressed or bartended at non-strip club places? Yes, I was a Hooters girl. I worked at Hooters. I was a waitress, but the waitress, there was a different type of waitress. I, at Applebee's, I waitressed at, shit, uh, 
me and my mom waitress together at Quincy's or somewhere. It was like one of my first jobs. Um, and she got me on with her. Like I've always did, you know, that type work um, as like a side hustle. It was never my main source of income. It's always been like a second job. I've always had like two jobs. Like I've never not, except for when I was a house mom. But when I was on my own and I was grinding, I've always had two jobs. That was always a mandatory thing. So waitressing, bartending, yes, that's always been a side hustle. So you kind of went from the regular regular waitress at like, let's say Applebee's, fully clothed, to the Hooters waitress where, you know, some stuff is a little bit more revealing, especially mm -hmm. the breast area and the, the butt cheeks and that sort of thing, mm -hmm. to even taking it a step further at waitressing at a strip club, which you're even more, uh, less clothing. <laughs> I, let me rephrase that. It's even less clothing you're, you're wearing. You're right. more revealed than even the previous types of waitressing. I guess you can say it went into phases. I started at Quincy's and I was a Hooters girl. Then I bartended at, um, the regular clubs in Tampa, which you had to wear those type of uniforms. Then I bartended at the strip clubs in Tampa. Now I'm at Blue Fly. Mm. So yes, it evolved in that manner, if, if you want to say that gateway, but that's the only gateway I've ever gone down. Did, they, did any of these waitress bartending gigs, did they become a gateway for le, you know more of a sexier type? Like for instance, when you were just a regular, regular waitress, did you think, man, I need to do Hooters because I can make way more money, show myself a little bit more, but make way more money than just regular, and did, did you say, well, at a strip club, I can even make right, way more than being a Hooters girl at the clothing that I'm at now? So the ex who I refer to as a piece of shit, he was the one that ref that actually was like, you should probably work at Hooters, you'll make a killing here. So I was like, fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> so I went to Hooters and I got the job with no issue. The only issue they ever had was I had a lot of tattoos, so I had to cover my tattoos up, but that was it. But yeah, he was the, the gateway. Mm. <laughs> Any of those jobs tough? Either the, wait the regular, regular waitress gig, the Hooters gig, or the strip club gig? The, I, I would say the regular, regular waitressing is harder than the naked waitressing because you're, you, you have to work harder. I mean, you get paid less. Everybody's sober. They don't really tip that well versus being in the strip club in a night scene. Everybody's drunk. They're free with their money, <laughs> you know? It's a lot easier. You don't have to work as hard. You just go get a couple of drinks, but whoop, bada bada, bada bada bang, you're done. Whereas the restaurants, they complain about their food. They send shit back. If the food doesn't come up in time, it's cold. They complain, and then you only get two dollars. Fuck out of here. <laughs>